Good morning, everybody. Trapper Bob. We are out here on my nuisance job. Bitterly cold morning. And I wasn't really expecting anything because I thought I was down to one beaver. I'll see if I can zoom in. But you see that black spot over there? Them are my drowning rigs. I had two of them with uh, Bridger number fives and we did have a catch two of them actually and i have two otter tags that i'm allowed to fill in wisconsin they did away with the lottery drawing and lo and behold the tracks that i thought were beaver turned out to be otter so my first otters ever and I doubled up the traps the traps were roughly four feet apart and <laughs> uh, the old bridger number five got both of them took it out to the 16 foot uh, cable they got tangled up a little bit but the drowning rig did its job it's cold, holy shit. It's like minus four degrees without the wind chill. So, I'm pretty happy. I didn't expect to get, uh, fill my otter tags. I do have four more traps left. Um, I think there's still one more beaver here. If the uh, otters didn't chase her out, there should be one big female left. But the otters may have chased her out and took over her dam. So I'm going to give it a couple more days, and if I don't get the beaver, I'm going to call it good, tell the landowner that the beavers are out, and he can go ahead and have an excavator come in and finish taking the dam out after I pull my traps. Hoping it'll warm up sometime next week so I can get my traps pulled out of here, and then I'll have to break the dam. But uh, I just wanted to give you a look. When I get home, get them hung up and dried out, get the snow off them, I'll turn you guys back on and we'll get a closer look at them. One of them's big, and the other one's probably average size, but uh, that first one there is a big one. It was heavy. I had to drag them. My back didn't like that worth of shit, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll turn you on when we get back to the trapping shed, probably this afternoon, and give you a good look at them when they're cleaned up, dried out, no snow on them. But I'm happy. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, y'all. Trapper Bob. We are in the skinning shed. Got back from my doctor's appointment. It was a good visit. They're saying probably three weeks of physical therapy and I'll probably be able to go back to work. Um, I've already skinned out one of the river otters, got the other one hanging, and I did the big one first and holy smokes, I'm impressed, he's big. Um, time to give you a look at the other one, I got him hanging up on my skinning game. He is a big one too. Not huge, but pretty good size nonetheless. And these are my very first river otters. I've never trapped a river otter before. So I was pretty excited. Um, was over on that nuisance beaver job had two um, Bridger number fives set up in about four inches of water. Had two chew sticks that the beavers had been feeding on um, right along the shore by the traps. Had uh, narrowed down to where they had to go up to where, through where the traps were at. Got there this morning, checked my first two traps, nothing. Walked over by the dam. I've got a 
kind of 330 kind of bear um, about 25 30 feet from the dam nothing in that so I walked across the dam um, checking I had four traps on the far side of the pond and first trap was nothing then I had the spot I showed on the camera where the beavers had been coming in and out. So we're the same spot I got the 50 pound beaver. Um, had two traps and about four inches of water, like I just said, narrowed down. And lo and behold, I had two river otters, one in each trap. And they'd hit the trap, took off to the bottom of the drowning rig and somehow they must have been playing or fighting the traps or something but they got all tangled up and they were in a big circle drowned just like they were supposed to be so i was pretty stoked my first ever river otters and to get a double on that that was uh, pretty cool that filled my wisconsin tags in wisconsin were allowed two river otters and it used to be a drawing up until this year and the population's high enough that uh, they just issue everyone in that buys a trapping license two tags and they go until they hit their limit um, I wasn't expecting an otter not by any means I did see some otter sign not much I thought maybe it was a beaver but the way I looked, it looked, I showed you guys on a previous video out there. It looked like it might have been slides, and sure enough, um, it was definitely river otters. So, I didn't see anywhere around the pond where they had come in and out of the pond. So, my thinking is, since I got rid of four of the beavers, the otters probably moved in. They either killed the last one that was there and ate it or ran her off she had to be a full-size adult probably 50 pounder or so I didn't see any tracks any sign of her coming in and out of the water um, I did see where the otters were out playing in the snow last week thinking it was maybe a beaver but um, after I got these guys today and the size of that first one I skinned it was definitely the otters so that was pretty cool so I think um, I'm probably done with my nuisance job there it's supposed to be a dam a quarter mile downstream that uh, the farmer got permission for me to trap um, not sure I'm gonna go down there and trap it especially since we got um, otters in the area I don't want to get an incidental catch and um, not be able to keep the otter I'd have to call DNR and they'd have to come out and they would uh, take the otter from me so I'll probably go downstream check the um, dam and see what it looks like and see what kind of sign I see if there's beavers I might trap it but if there's any sign of otters I'm not going to trap it Uh, my favorite drink pure leaf green tea unsweetened black tea love tea tea and coffee that's pretty much what I live on <coughs> um, so I sent the farmer a message this morning uh, showed him sent him a picture of the two otters told him I don't think there's any more beavers left because otters will run the beavers out from everything I've read and all the research I've done um, otters will kill beavers and run them out take over their dens and there's a really big den um, that I showed you guys the beaver house and the big feed food plot in front of it so I'm thinking the otters took over these were two male otters um, like I said, the one's really big. I got him on a raccoon stretcher, and he takes up about 90% of the stretcher. And his tail hangs down, I don't know, probably a foot past the bottom of the stretcher. So he's a big one. His tail's every bit of five inches wide at the base of it. 
So I was pretty excited, pretty stoked. Um, I got it on the setup to dry the outside while I'm out here skinning. And uh, then I can turn it fur side out um, and hang it and let it dry. I'm not going to sell these. Uh, I'll send them in with my beavers uh, to get tanned. I would have liked to have mounted them, but cost is too high. And it's pretty cool, though, that uh, my first otter's getting a double, and they're definitely going to get tanned. It's a lot cheaper than mounting, and they'll last forever. So... I will keep you guys informed on what's going on. I'm going to get this other otter skinned and fleshed. And then uh, this one should be dry dry enough by then I can flip it first side out. Um, here's a look at it. Mind, don't mind. Fresh skin. He is big. Ugh. And it's not even stretched. And he's good. Shit. <laughs> he's a good two inches, uh, two or three inches wider than my hand, and my hand's easily seven or eight inches. Um, yeah, I had tape on it. I nicked myself with a knife. No biggie. But I'm pretty excited. Uh, oh yeah, this is a Christmas present my wife gave me. I used to do photography, and this was a coyote I took a picture of a while back. <coughs> so, that's what we're doing today, and then I'm going to go put ice on my back for about a half hour, hook up the TENS unit, get my back relaxed, and... Uh, do my exercises that physical therapy gave me twice a week for the next three weeks I go to physical therapy we'll see hopefully it works doctor told me I shouldn't be doing production work uh, with my injuries I've got three compressed vertebrae four compressed discs from whew, 35 years ago or something like that yeah something like that I was 18 19 years old 19 19 or 20 and had an incident with a Brahma bull so he told me I shouldn't be doing production work so I may end up going back to driving truck um, if I do it'll be local that way I'm off every day and weekends so I can keep making videos I did get my pneumatic air rifle I went with uh, Umeric's gauntlet 25 caliber um, I'm waiting on an air pump I bought a hand pump a better scope um, rings pellets and something else oh a bipod for it uh, I'll probably make a video Wednesday putting all that on the gun and maybe actually shooting it for the first time Although temperatures are pretty damn cold outside, so I may wait till it warms up. Um, when I was checking traps this morning, it was something like minus 4 degrees. So, we'll see. In the meantime, have a good day, and I will see you soon.